Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be taking a look at this announcement made by CD Projekt Red on their official Cyberpunk 2077 Twitter, uh, Twitter account and it seems like Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed again. This time it's been delayed all the way up until December, so not that far off from when the, uh, the initial release date that we thought it was going to be, um, which is going to be in November, except now it's going to be in December. So let's just go ahead and read the actual announcement that they made, and then of course I'll give you guys my thoughts on it as always. So this is straight from them. Uh, hey everyone, today we've decided to move, the to move the release date of Cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. The new release date is December 10th. Most likely there are many emotions and questions in your head, so first and foremost, please accept our humble apologies. The biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen, next gen, and PC at the same time, which requires us to prepare and test nine versions of it, uh, that being on the Xbox One or Xbox One X, compatibility on Xbox Series S or X, PS4 or PS4 Pro, or a PS4 Pro, compatibility on PS5, PC, and Stadia. I don't know why they give a shit about Stadia, but okay. Uh, while working from home. Since Cyberpunk 2077 evolved towards almost being a next-gen title somewhere along the way, we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly. We're aware it might seem unrealistic when someone says that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive and complex game, but they really do. Some of you might also be wondering what these words mean in light of us saying we achieved gold master some time ago. Passing certification or going gold means the game is ready, can be completed, and has all content in it. But it doesn't mean we stop working on it and raising the quality bar. On the contrary, this is the time where many improvements are being made, which will then be distributed via a day zero patch. This is the time period we undercalculated. We feel we have an amazing game on our hands and are willing to make every decision, even the hardest ones, if it ultimately leads to you getting a video game you'll fall in love with. Yours, Adam and Marcin, the creators of, uh, I'm guessing the people in charge of CD Projekt Red. Okay, so there it is. There's the announcement. So Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed by, according to them, 20, uh, 21 days, and the new release date is December 10th. Now, I understand why a lot of people are probably going to be upset by this. You know, Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed so many times or uh, so many times already. I think this is like the fourth time it's been delayed. I, I could be wrong. It's either the third or fourth time it's been delayed. I think initially it was supposed to be released in September, then it got delayed to October, and then it got delayed to November, and now it's been delayed again to December. So I understand why a lot of people might be upset, but here's the thing, and this is uh, something that I've always believed. I would much rather wait for a great game than for them to rush out a and a, an incomplete game like I've always believed that and I think a lot of people believe this too I think a lot of people would rather wait and get a fantastic game that is 100% finished nothing left to add maybe like a couple of things here or there to fix because you know no game is ever perfect and maybe some things to add on to it you know later on to, uh, later in the uh, in the year after the game's released but Usually one of the biggest problems with a lot of games that are being made today is usually they get shipped Early before the game is ever finished and then when the when people have the game in front of them It's just disappointing because it, it's clearly unfinished. They clearly needed to work uh, to spend more time on this game and Instead of just letting us wait to get a 100% game 100% completed game That is just that gives you the full experience this day you buy it all the way up until the day you finish playing it. Instead, they give you an, an incomplete mess that you have to wait for them uh, to complete later after you buy the game. Except by then, unfortunately, what ends up happening is you, t you lose a bit of interest in the game and you don't play it as much as you did when you first bought the game. Uh, that, that mostly happens with a lot of games, but it, it's, it especially happens when you buy a game on day one and then you put it inside, uh, put inside the, uh, the, the, uh, you know, your console and then you play it, or you, you, you open it, you play the game, and you realize that it's completely inco uh, incomplete, and it's not done, and it just completely, uh, just, it, it completely deflates the moment. It's just, it, it sucks, but, but it seems like, and, and at least I'm hoping this is the case, that we actually will get a 100% completed game on December 10th. Let's hope they actually keep the release date this time. Again, I would much rather wait. I, I know a lot of people are not going to be uh, are not going to probably share the same opinion as me, 
they're probably going to be upset because, uh, you know, they, it's been delayed so many times, which, again, I completely understand. Believe me, I'm just as upset as you guys. But I would rather be upset now and then on December 10th when I buy the game, and that's, again, hoping they, you know, keep the release date this time. And then on December 10th, I buy the game. I put it into my uh, console, and then I open it. And I just experienced this absolutely fantastic 100% complete game. Then to buy it now or on November when it was, you know, before it was delayed and to get a just just completely uh, unfinished game, which could, again, completely deflate any excitement that you had. But anyway, uh, th uh, those are just my thoughts on this. Guys, as always, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please remember to leave a like, share this video on whatever social media platform you use, whether it's Twitter or well, any other uh, social media platform you use. Just consider sharing this video because it will help the channel grow if you guys help more people know up that this channel exists. And you guys can, again, uh, help support the channel by, again, just liking, sharing, and subscribing. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider joining me for my next video. And please remember to stay safe and take care of yourselves. Bye for now.